Hello! So today I'm going to talk about height fields. Uh, and to demonstrate this, I have this little crowd here. And it starts walking and then it triggers to ragdoll and just falls over. If you, like me, work with feature films, then you know that the assets are usually very big. And that can cause problems sometimes. So if I have this environment that I created, you can see it's just this ground with some noise on it and I just copied this test geometry all over it and the only reason I did that was to get up the poly count and this is not that big actually I think it's five million polygons or something um, but if we go to the crowd sim here uh, in the crowd solver we're going to choose enable terrain projection and then point to this guy you will notice this gets really slow. So I haven't even calculated the first frame. So there is the first frame. And if I play this now, you can see it's still on one calculating. And yeah, I mean, yeah, now it went over to two. Obviously, you can't work like this. In the past, the way I got around it was that I used to make small grids and then I recasted those on the environment. And then I place them on different places where I needed a crowd. But now in 16, you can actually use height fields. This workflow is similar to what I did before, but it's just much easier and faster. So if I drop down a height field here, I went in here to here is my ground, uh, and here I drop down a height field. You can see you get this big plane here, uh, and then I'm gonna do a project. Height field project. I'm going to connect that into that, and then I'm going to take the environment. Just calculating, and there, now it's done. Uh, and I also going to just plug a null at the end. So out height field and black. Okay. Uh, so now, if I'm going back to the dopsim and and go in here, enable terrain projection. Uh, and then just go here, out height field. You can see that is much faster. If I play now, you can see, I mean, it's such a speed increase. And now that you see they're falling through the ground, but that is just because the only collider I have here is a ground plane. But you can actually use the height field for collisions too. So if we go in here and then we take a terrain object, Use height field, sub path, go to out height field, connect this. Now we can go out from this, watch it with the real environment. Now you can see the terrain projection is fast and the collisions are fast too. So I hope that you found this video useful and uh, see you next time.